Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome. So for today's video, we're gonna be testing out a bunch of brand new makeup. I have some drugstore, some high-end. Most of the things in today's video are from my recent Sephora haul, so if you guys have not seen that, definitely check it out. But we're just gonna try out a bunch of new stuff and do a first impression, so I hope you guys enjoy. Grab a snack, get cozy, and let's hang out and test out some new makeup. So I just went ahead and primed my lids. I don't have a new one, so I just used my Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer, which you guys know is one of my favorites. Today for eyeshadow, I'm really excited because I've never tried Dose of Colors, and they just sent me a bunch of their eyeshadow palettes in PR, and I wanted to test one of these out because I've heard really good things, and I love everything else that Dose of Colors has, like their foundation, concealer, lip products, and how stunning is this packaging? It's like matte and so pretty. So this one is the Cutting Edge palette, and this is like all greens and warm tones, just perfect for the fall time. And you get a cute little brush in here, which I feel like you could use for your lower lashes or even like the inner corners. So love that. I'll probably use that later on, but I'm going to start off with this color right here, which is in the shade edgy. This is a really pretty color. It's like really unique because it's sort of green, but it's sort of like mustardy as well, but it's like a mossy kind of green yellow. It's really nice. Then I'm gonna take this mid-tone matte warm orange. It's kind of like orangey brown, and I'm gonna use that same brush. This is a NYX blending brush, and I'm just gonna take that and also run that in the crease just for a little bit more warmth in there. Then I'm gonna use the shimmery dark green and I'm gonna apply that on the inner half of my lid. I'm gonna go in with a dry brush just to see the pigment. Oh, okay. Love that. Very pigmented, but I'm probably gonna spray my brush though anyway, just so that the color kind of pops and just sticks a little bit better. And to do this, you could use any like setting spray, eye drops if you have them. I'm just gonna use this one from Milani because I don't have a new setting spray today. And then with the brush, it actually comes with the palette. I'm just gonna kind of run that right in this part right here and just blend out that harsh line a little bit. And then I'm gonna take that matte olive green and apply that on the outer crease. And by crease, by the way, I meant lid. <laughs> I'm putting this a little bit right in this area, but I'm not gonna bring it up too much because I still want that warm color to be in the crease. So this is really just gonna go on the outer portion of the lid. That's really pretty. It's basically the same color as the shimmer. It's just matte. I'm just gonna kind of use it on my finger just to add a little bit more right here, but it's really pretty. It has like a light sheen, like sparkle to it. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this shade right here and I'm just gonna run that very lightly in the crease. And then I'm gonna use a clean blending brush and I'm gonna take whatever color is in the crease and I'm gonna kind of blend it upwards just very lightly because I don't want the crease to be too dark. I definitely want the darkness to be mostly on the lid. This always looks crazy at first, but my videos I think are the definition of trust the process. Love green eyeshadow. It's like one of my favorite kind of smoky eyes to do, especially during this time of year. I just feel like it's so sexy and I just love these tones. Eyeshadow, double thumbs up. Love the shades, love the formula, and I actually really like the little brush that comes with it. I feel like it's convenient. Okay, now for mascara. I have two different ones to test out. First, I have the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara. I've heard really good things about this, and I've been testing out a bunch of different mascaras, so I'm excited about this one, and I haven't seen any like new ones at the drugstore, so we're gonna try this one on one eye, and then I also have the Item Beauty Lash snack lengthening mascara and this is Addison Rae's makeup line at Sephora. I guess we'll start with this one first. This is what the wand looks like. So it has like a tiny wand but like it's not too tiny so I feel like it is going to be good for both top and lower lashes. So let's try this out first and I'm going to curl my lashes actually. If you guys have a good eyelash curler let me know. Like I feel like I curl my lashes and they just don't hold a curl and I don't know if that has to do maybe with just my lashes or the lash curler. All right, let's try this. So first is the Item Beauty Mascara. Okay, I actually, first impressions, really like this wand because it looks like it's small, but it's actually a, the perfect size to coat like each of your lashes. Definitely separates them as you can see. Ooh. 
So this definitely separates and lengthens. It doesn't give a ton of volume, but I don't mind that. Especially I think for like every day, this is a nice mascara because it really just like, I feel like opens up your eyes, elongates your lashes and gives you like some good separation. Now let's try out the anti-gravity from Milani. They sent me some extras and I actually gave this to my best friend and she tried it out and she says she really likes it. Like it's bomb. She did her makeup in the car actually yesterday and she just texted me and she said it's really good. This definitely also separates, adds some volume. I feel like the one from Item Beauty is a little bit more lengthening, but I do like the formula of this as well, because again, it's not too wet and it's not too dry either. But I'll use this later on on the lower lashes and that'll be like the ultimate test because I feel like you're gonna be able to see that better because my lower lashes, I feel like are much better than my top. Now for lashes, I have a small business here. This is the Low Lash Obsession Lashes and these are in the style Fearless and they're really pretty and fluffy and I'm not gonna do any winged liner today so I just want like a really pretty fluffy lash and this one looks stunning. Okay, lashes are on. Now we're gonna move into the skin. So I don't have a new primer, but I do have a new tinted sunscreen to test out. So I'm just gonna use one of my favorite primers that works with like literally all of my products and that is the Smashbox Primerizer. Today I have the Say Cosmetics Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer. So this has SPF 30 in it. Just kidding, SPF 35, and I got this one in the shade three plus half. The newest product that I have to compare this one to is this one from Tower 28. This is the Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This one has SPF 30 in it, and this is super natural. This is like for those no makeup makeup days. I think this is perfect, but doesn't have a lot of coverage, so I'm curious to see how this one compares as far as coverage. So I don't really think it's gonna have a ton, honestly, because it's like a tinted moisturizer. Ooh, it feels like thick, but I actually like that because then hopefully it'll have a little bit better coverage than the one from Tower 28. Doesn't really smell like anything. I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out. This kind of has like that no scent scent, if that makes sense. Ooh, this is very dewy. You can see I have those two little pimples right here. Well, one's a scar, one is a little pimple, but it covered it up really lightly. You can still kind of see it peeking through. So obviously this is a tinted moisturizer, so it's not gonna be like a full coverage foundation, but I always like to see and build it up to see if there is any like potential coverage with products like this, which normally though there isn't. These are meant to be like really natural, effortless, like your skin, but better. So yeah, this I feel like gave me like a super, super light tint, but you're still gonna have maybe pimples or scars or like freckles beauty marks like those kind of things are still gonna be peeking through but it's definitely super hydrating and dewy and it feels comfortable on the skin it did help I feel like to even everything out and just make my skin look a little bit more fresh and enhanced which is always really nice and I think great for like no makeup makeup days or like just natural like five ten minute makeup okay I'm not mad about it I just feel like it depends on what you're looking for you know if you're looking for something that's really medium to full coverage really intense this product is not for you but if you're looking for like a no makeup makeup look kind of product just something really really natural then this is it I'm gonna try to build this up a little bit to see if we can maybe cover these up a tiny bit more let's see if we can get a little bit more coverage just gonna kind of blend it in with my finger too and see oh yeah it actually does like cover a little bit better so actually this has slightly like the tiniest bit better coverage than the one from tower 28 so this will give you a little bit more than the one from tower 28 but essentially they're both the same thing like they're a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen in it so regardless they're both really natural slight differences but super similar now i have two different concealers to try out so i have this one from item beauty this is the air hug concealer i have shade 200 and then i also have the rose ink soft light luminous hydrating concealer so i'm going to do item beauty on this side and then the rose ink one on the other yeah actually i like the tinted moisturizer i can see this being like something just quick and easy for like everyday looks let's start off with item beauty i'm gonna use my elf camo concealer sponge Ooh, wow, this has good coverage. Just what I needed, especially with this tinted moisturizer. Wow, really great coverage, super creamy. I love it. I actually like the way that it looks since it is so full coverage with that Say Cosmetics tinted moisturizer. I think the two kind of just 
balance each other out really nicely. That looks beautiful. And then on the other side, I'm going to use the Rose Ink Concealer. Also heard really good things about this. This is actually per your recommendation. So this one feels a little bit less heavy than the one from Item Beauty. That one's definitely a little bit more of a thicker consistency. And this one is less thick and it almost feels cooling actually as I apply it. So I'm going to use a different sponge. Obviously the colors are going to be a little bit different, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so both concealers are on and you can see the one from Item Beauty definitely has more coverage. This one from Rose Ink is a little bit more natural, but it's still really pretty and effortless. I feel like this is great if you want just something for like everyday makeup and then if you want more intense coverage, I would go with the one from Item Beauty. First impression, that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to try to build this side up just so that it could be like as full coverage as this one. I like the formula of this one from Rose Ink though because it is so creamy. Let's just see if we can get a little bit more coverage. See how like easily it blends? So I do like the formula of it a lot. And I like different like concealers depending on the makeup look that I'm doing. So I don't mind something that you have to build up. And Item Beauty I feel like is more just full coverage right off the bat, but still they're both really nice. I like the formulas of both, they don't feel heavy. So now I do have a cream blush to test out. This is the LYS Beauty Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. This one I have in the color Confident, which is a really pretty like just natural rose shade. So let's try it out. I'm just gonna use my Elf Complexion Duo Brush. Ooh. Really pretty. Also great formula, blends like effortlessly. Also has like a slight dew, but it's like still like a really natural finish. And my skin definitely looks a lot more dewy because of that tinted sunscreen that I used, but I'm not mad about it because it feels really hydrated and like fresh. And I feel like the products over top are blending and like melting into the skin really nicely. I love this cream blush. This is beautiful. So I'm gonna just use my Haley's Beauty Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder and then I'm gonna go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder just to add a little bit more lightness under there. Okay, so now I have a new bronzer, and this is also from LYS Beauty. And this is the No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Motivate, which is the lightest color. And this is what it looks like. That's like a really pretty everyday bronzer. So I'm gonna kind of just stamp this in. And this is the LA Colors Large Powder Brush. I love how warm it is. I'm just like pressing it into the skin. It's so smooth though. So this color is definitely very warm. So if you like a warm bronzer, you will like this. That's kind of like the swatch. So it's very like caramelly, warm, but it's super smooth on the skin. It blends really easily and it definitely can show up a little bit darker the more that you built it up. Double thumbs up, love the way that looks. Now I have a new blush. This is the Essence Mosaic Blush. I really love Essence blushes and I've seen this on TikTok and I wanted to give this a try because I've never tried this color, but I love Essence blushes they have some of the best ones and they're super affordable they're like under five dollars so this one is in the berry connection this really doesn't match with the eye makeup and everything but it is okay we're just gonna go with it oh wow this is like a baby doll barbie pink wow this is really pigmented i used too much but that is really, really pretty. Wow, it's intense. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to kind of like buff this out and blend it into the skin a little bit more. I love the color though. And you know, I love like warm tone blushes, but I have been like branching out into like more raspberry and more pink colors. Oh, okay. This is like already, I feel like gonna be like a new favorite. The formula of this is like insane for how affordable it is. <gasps> okay, I kind of just lifted and took away some of my tinted moisturizer by doing that. I kind of like lifted my foundation up a little bit here or the tinted moisturizer from blending that out. Maybe I was doing it a little bit too harshly. And I don't want to add more blush because it is so bright. So I'm thinking like what I could do. Okay, I might have to take a little bit more of this sunscreen, just like a little tiny dot. And I'm just gonna apply that over the blush because I don't want this to look bad because I actually really like the way the skin looks. I think when I was blending it out, I was a little bit too like rough in that area because it didn't happen on this side. It only happened on this side. So that leads me to believe that it is my fault. I'm going to set this with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder. I know it got a little messed up on this side, but I think we're good. We're just going to go with it and 
the show going. So I have a new highlighter here. This is the Diamond Bounce Illuminating Powder Highlighter from Lottie London. And this one is in the shade Golden. They have one other color, but I wanna try this one out and I feel like this is gonna match with the eye look and everything really nicely. And I love like golden and bronzy cheeks. So, wow, this looks really intense. Ooh, oh wow. Yeah, this is, this is glittery as you can see. Wow, that's intense. This is a little too glittery for me. I don't really love it. I prefer something a little bit less glittery and more like, like a dew. You know what I mean? Like a dew from within. So this is not my vibe. Not on the cheeks. I love the glitter on the eyes, but not the cheeks. So I am going to take this color though and pop it in the inner corners because I feel like that would be stunning. Yeah, this as an eyeshadow is beautiful. I'm debating like just wiping off my foundation. Or should I just leave it and then, you know, we'll just have a glittery makeup look today. I mean, like it's cute, but it's just not what I like. I'm gonna just leave it. I was gonna wipe off the face, but you know what? It's a first impressions and some things are gonna work and some things aren't gonna work. That's the reality. You guys have seen me at my worst and this is just another kind of hot mess moment, but it's okay. Jumping back into the Dose of Colors Cutting Edge Palette, I'm gonna go into the green shade right here and then a little bit of this color down here, which is edgy. So edgy and cameo. And I'm gonna use that little brush that comes with it and I'm gonna just smudge those colors right on the lash line. Love this little palette. It's really cute, I like the colors. They have a bunch of different ones too with different color stories, so. Very cute, very nice. And I'm gonna use the LA Girl Metallic Eyeliner in the shade Brown Sugar on the waterline. And we're gonna try out the mascara. Let's do the Item Beauty Lash Snack on this side. Ooh, I like the wand on this a lot. On the other side, we're gonna do the Anti-Gravity from Milani. They both end up kind of looking the same, to be honest. I think it's just like the wands are a little bit different. I think I prefer the one from Item Beauty though, as far as like the wand. And it's like, I feel like the perfect size mascara. But this one from Milani definitely does give more, I would say volume and thickness. Whereas the one from Addison Rae, Item Beauty gives a little bit more length and separation. So I have two different lip products here. I have a Makeup by Mario lipstick, and then I also have a lip oil here. So I think I'm gonna try out the lip oil just on my bare lips to see how it looks and the color. And this one is in Marrakesh and this is the Merit Tinted Lip Oil. Wow, this is one of the most lightweight lip oils like ever. It is so light. It doesn't really feel like it's like thick or like super creamy. It's just a very light kind of gloss with a light tint, as you can see. If you don't like the feeling of a lot of lip gloss or like something heavy on your lips, I think you would like this formula, just first impressions. But I think this is really pretty for everyday makeup and just for like to have something really lightweight on the lips because I know not everybody likes the feeling of lip gloss on their lips. Really natural, really light. And these come in a bunch of different colors as well. And if we're comparing this to the Item Beauty Beauty. This is the Lip Quip Lip Oil. This one is definitely more of like a gloss. I'll put this one on to show you guys the difference of what I mean. So see, this feels more of like a lip gloss on the lips. And the tint on these is really light. This almost honestly feels like a clear lip gloss. This is what this one looks like. So you can see the one from Merit that I just had on is not as glossy and the tint is like so, so light. But if you don't like the feeling of lip gloss or like a heavy lip oil on your lips, you would really like this. Let's try out the Makeup by Mario lipstick now. And I got this one in the shade Sierra, which is the lightest like pinky peachy nude. Looking at the formula, this kind of reminds me of the new Milani lipsticks. Like just that like velvet suede kind of finish to the lip product. Ooh, wow, this is definitely super nude. It is matte, but it doesn't feel drying. It's comfortable, it's pigmented. And I'm gonna just go in with the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in Maple Glaze. I love this lip liner. It looks good with so many different lipsticks. And I'm just gonna use this just to kind of like make this a little bit more wearable. So I don't really love this color just on its own. I feel like you definitely need like a good lip liner with it because it's so light, but it's like a good kind of center shade to lighten out maybe some other lip colors that you have. Like if you want to make it a little bit more nude, this is a nice color that you could throw in the center of your lips. The lipstick feels comfortable, but it honestly feels and reminds me so much of the Milani lipsticks, the new ones, and they have beautiful colors of those. I'm sure you guys have seen them, but it is a really gorgeous shade. For me, this is going to be a color that I use maybe in the center if I ever want to make something look a little bit 
bit more nude. I don't really like the way it looks on my lips just like all over without any other lip products over top or like with a lip liner, but it is a really pretty shade. The formula is comfortable. I'm gonna try out some of the vampy colors from the lipsticks because I feel like I have so many good like drugstore nudes. But yeah, I'm gonna set my makeup one last time with the Milani Make It Last and we will be on our way. All right guys, so we are all done with this first impressions and I have some thoughts. Surprisingly though, this is actually a really good first impressions and we have some great products here. There's really only one product that I'm not crazy about and I'm sure you guys know what it is. And that is the Lottie London Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. This is just way too glittery for me, for my skin, but I love it as an eyeshadow. So it's not a bad product, it's just not something that I love. For my skin personally, I feel like highlighter is definitely one of those things that is like so personal preference. Like nowadays I prefer something a little bit more dewy and subtle versus before like I would have loved something like this back in like 2016 but now I feel like as an eyeshadow it's stunning so I have it in the inner corners and I also did add a little bit right to the center of my eyes just with my finger I dabbed it in there and you can see it adds a really pretty sparkle as an eyeshadow I think this is beautiful as like a topper or just for like a little extra pop dose of colors eyeshadow palette really love the formula of these they layered really nicely they're pigmented and I like each of the color stories that they have as well like it's not too overwhelming with a bunch of different shades but they're like just good shades to have where you can create a bunch of different looks. So I like this a lot. Love the LYS Beauty bronzer and blush. I mean, the formulas of these were so nice, pigmented, easy to blend. This bronzer is gonna be like a new favorite. I love that I was able to use a lot of it and it didn't look muddy and it was just like really easy to blend. So I really like this color and I love the cream blush as well. Love these concealers as well. The one from Item Beauty is super full coverage. So I really, really like this. And then I love the one from Rose Ink as well because it is more natural, medium coverage, but it's buildable and it's creamy. It melts into the skin and I think I think it's perfect for maybe like spot concealing or for your under eyes as well so I really love both of these and I cannot wait to keep using them because I keep the same concealers in rotation so it is time for some new ones and these are really good so far this essence mosaic blush I should have known that this was going to be super pigmented but this is amazing if you need a good like baby doll pink so I love this shade beautiful it's a nice matte formula too today was like the battle of the mascaras so I actually really like both of these if I had to choose one between both of these I'm gonna go with the one from item beauty not because I don't like the Milani one but because I prefer the wand to this one from item beauty especially with me because I have smaller lashes and they're not really long so I feel like I could really get in there and coat my top and lower lashes really nicely and precisely so the one from Milani is gonna give you I would say more volume and thickness it definitely is gonna separate your lashes but as far as length I feel like this one from item beauty is gonna give you separated long lashes they're both really great it just depends on the wand that you like the lashes I also really love I will link them down below I love to support small businesses so these are really pretty easy to apply very flexible the Merit lip oil is very natural. I think this is another kind of like no makeup makeup look kind of product. If you don't like the feeling of a lot of lip products on your lips, you will like these. And they also come in a ton of different shades as well. The Makeup by Mario lipstick is also really nice. I wanted to get this color in particular also to kind of compare it to the Milani lipsticks. And I feel like those are really great alternatives to this kind of formula. It's like a really nice like soft matte suede formula and I love it. But the Milani lipsticks are it. So those are great alternatives. But I think I want to try out some some of the darker shades that he has because I have so many good like lighter shades that I love that are affordable so I'm gonna try some of the vampy colors because I do like this formula the say cosmetics slip tint I really like this I feel like this is gonna be perfect for like a no makeup makeup look which I do want to film like something like that I just need to kind of perfect like that no makeup makeup look on myself but I feel like this product would be amazing for that I love how dewy it is and I feel like this comparing it to the tower 28 tinted sunscreen I like the finish of this one more and I also feel like it has just a little bit more as far as coverage now both of these are obviously tinted sunscreens tinted moisturizers so they don't claim to be medium or full coverage foundations at all but I feel like with this one maybe because the formula is a little bit thicker you get a little bit more light coverage versus this from tower Power 28 where I feel like I really don't get really much of anything. It's just a really light tint. I prefer the finish of this one over the one from Tower 28, but they're both amazing just depending on the finish and like what kind of formula you're looking for. I'll have to like test these out side by side and kind of see like really comparing the two and how they look side by side. And I think that is officially everything for this first impressions. So let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and if there's anything else that you guys want me to test out, feel free to comment and let me know down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.